In this episode, Lori O asks about moving her website. Basically, she's moved it to a live server and it's going for the client, but it's still pointing back to the old staging server, which includes a demo link. In the next few steps, we'll cover several ways where you can update this URL and move away from that staging site. All right, in this, we're gonna walk through how to update your URLs via a plugin on the WordPress dashboard. So we just changed our um, domain name from a testing server to the actual one. Um, so the testing server was with WP Engine. So it was a short link and then wpengine.com. So a lot of these links within here still have that inside of the widgets or inside of pages. So to update the URL, we are going to install a new plugin and the plugin is called Velvet Blues. So simply log into the back end of your WordPress dashboard, go to add plugins under search plugins. I usually just type Velvet because nothing else is called Velvet. And here we have right here, Velvet Blues update URLs. We're gonna click install and hit okay. I use WP Engine, so it recommends updating, which is smart. Um, so I'll just give that a second to update and install. So I'll just wait a second and I'm gonna get the other URL. All right, so it's installed, unpacked, and now we're activating it. Of course, it's always gonna go slow when I'm doing a video. So as we wait, it'll bring up an admin menu. So there we go, it's been activated. To get to this, I go to Tools and then Update URLs, and it brings me to the Velvet Blues updater. Uh, at the top here, I have a notice to you know, enter a license, so that's different. But down here, it says to update URLs, do this. We recommend that you run a backup, and that's true. I'm gonna paste in the old HTTP. So this is just what WP Engine um, adds to the site. And then I'm gonna add this here. I'm gonna take off the S just for the time being. So here we have the old URL, which was the demo site or the staging site or whatever you have. And now we have the new URL. And I'm gonna go ahead and check all these except for the last one. And you can check or uncheck as needed, but I need all of them. So I'm gonna click update URLs now. And then now it says success, everything's been updated. So 77 items have been updated in post pages, custom post types and revisions. This is really big. On huge sites, I've had this number be in the hundreds and I've had one hit the thousands. So going through a thousand pages to update this would be impossibly hard. Uh, 340 attachments have been updated and then 23 custom fields. So that's how you use Velvet Blues update URLs. After I do this, I go back to plugins and I uninstall it because this is all I need it for. Uh, if you have any more questions, let me know. Thanks. All right, for more great videos like this one, please hit subscribe below. Thanks.